We're going to start the news this morning with something that is not good at all. Here we go again. You know this story. As we have too many times before, we're going to start with another deadly mass shooting in this country. It's a 146 mass shooting so far this year, and we're only 101 days into the new year. Think about that for just a second. There are only so many ways to say the same thing over and over and over again. This time, we're talking about the people in Kentucky. They are grieving after a man killed five people and wounded eight others inside the old National Bank in downtown Louisville. Now, police say the shooter was live streaming the attack before officers shot him to death. The five people who were murdered all worked for the bank. They are 57-year-old Deanna Eckert, 40-year-old Joshua Barrick, 63-year-old Thomas Elliott, 45-year-old Juliana Farmer, and 64-year-old James Tutt. Roxana Saberi has made her way to Louisville Forest, a downtown area not far from the waterfront, not far from the ballpark there. It would be a beautiful spring day, but I'm thinking of the families of those five victims who woke up yesterday with them and wake up today without them. Roxana, good morning. Good morning, Tony. CBS News has confirmed the shooter was armed with a semi-automatic AR-15 style weapon and had worked at Old National Bank behind me as an intern for three summers before becoming a full-time employee in 2021. Police searched his home last night while investigating why he would come to work and kill some of his colleagues. Shots rang out at Old National Bank shortly after 8.30 Monday morning. Another caller advising possibly eight to nine people have been shot. Within three minutes of receiving 911 calls, police rushed to the scene. After exchanging gunfire, they killed the shooter. Police say the gunman, 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon, was armed with a semi-automatic AR-15 style weapon and worked at the bank, which was closed during the attack. He texted a friend called a friend left a voicemail he's going to kill everyone at the bank feeling suicidal police are investigating a possible motive this was an evil act of targeted violence all five people killed were other employees of the bank yeah, i just walked right past the conference room where everyone was and then i came down and i had to grab something and and yeah, I got up there and the guy was like, run, there's a shooter. And we were in the conference, back conference room. Whoever's next to me we got shot and hit bloods on me from it. One of the victims, 63-year-old Tommy Elliott, was a close friend of Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir. Tommy Elliott helped me build my law career. Helped me become governor. Gave me advice on being a good dad. Nine people were transferred to the hospital, including two officers responding to the scene. One of them is 26-year-old rookie Nicholas Wilt, who graduated from the police academy less than two weeks ago. He was shot in the head. Our LMPD officers went into that building knowing that they were risking their lives to save their lives to save other lives. And that's exactly what they did. Wilt is in critical but stable condition after brain surgery at the University of Louisville Hospital. Three other injured patients have already been released from the hospital. Gail? Roxana, we thank you.